The partnership between Global Sports Innovation and Rhino Rugby is, is quite unique. We both companies have a saying that the game never stands still, so we're always trying to move the game forward, whether that be Rugby Union or Rugby League. And the key to all our training needs is it must make players more technically proficient. Global Sports Innovation, GSI, looks at the science, the design, the analysis, the trends in the game and develops and invents the, the training aids. And then after that, the partnership with Rhino is with their quality manufacture and distribution. There's the famous blue and white machines and training aids all over the world. It's a great match. So GSI and Rhino working together aim to provide the best training aids on the planet. The key points, in my opinion, for, for training aids, first and foremost, you've got to replicate the key movement patterns that happen in a game. That's absolutely a must. There's no point in having training aids that don't replicate those patterns. So it's the way that you develop your training equipment and it's also the way that you coach on it. Feedback is vital to me throughout all training aids. They must be able to give the player that's using the piece of equipment feedback. So am I hitting it correctly? Am I over? correctly, is my body position correct, uh, am I hitting it with enough power, angles, for example if you're using the, the arms of steel bag I know that if the player doesn't get a good grip of that bag in the movement that we're trying to coach you're going to lose that bag so the player will know right away that there's no feedback coming from him. If it doesn't challenge you it, it won't change you, it's as simple as that so you can't have an easy option in training aids, I don't want players walking across thinking that the next five, ten minutes is actually an easy part of the session, it's always there to challenge you. The way we design the equipment, the weight distribution of it, uh, the height, the, the width, the size, every single angle, centimetre on these training aids are there for a reason. In, 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 in. Change green. Key is coaching technique. Uh, you must coach technique. Uh, because if you don't, then as the player fatigues, the technique drops off. So your technique as a player must stand up under intense pressure time and time and time again. For me as a coach, you'll never beat live practice. So instead of doing 20 minute block alive, you could be doing 15 minutes on technique and movement with your training aids and then after that, you're into your live practice. But the key point for me is you must be able to coach technique. If you can't coach technique, you're always going to struggle. There's no point in doing patterns and formations. The great quote of, you could have uh, the greatest defensive system in the world, but if your players can't tackle, then that defensive system's not going to work. So technique must stand up time and time again, especially under intense pressure.